Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. Whenever you want to have a debate with a state liberal, they always resort to violence. We need to wake people up. That's right. This is the anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor uh, that got us into World War II. You know, it's funny. I haven't heard much talk about this uh, on the news today. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. On my way in, I'm clicking around, hitting radio stations, see what people are talking about. I'm getting coffee and I'm watching cable news to see what people are talking about. I haven't seen anybody talk about the fact this is the anniversary of Pearl Harbor. That was a pretty big deal, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's like, uh, it's a really big deal. I know most of the people who were alive at the time are now dead, are dying, are very old, but uh, that was a very big deal. I, I can't believe that it's not really being talked about a, a great deal. You know, the interesting thing about this as well is that he talked about how they deliberately and unprovoked uh, attacked and so forth. Well, that's not exactly true, is it, if we go back and we look at history? It was a kind of false flag. And when we talk about false flags, the, the term is so overloaded because there's so many different types of false flags. But we need to understand what happened in Pearl Harbor, the fact that FDR wanted to get involved in the war on the side of Britain uh, against the Nazis and against Japan. And America did not want to do that again after they had been drugged into World War I by Woodrow Wilson. They said, wait a minute, uh, we knew, we smelled a rat when that was happening, and we're not going to let you do that again. So they're very reluctant to get involved in that war. FDR did everything he could to provoke an attack. The Germans would not take the bait, but the Japanese did. And so when you open up your defenses, when you essentially shut down the lines of communication as people were reporting, hey, we got something coming in here, and they kind of put the notes off to the side, as history has shown, and uh, do everything that they can to not only provoke, but to shut down any early alarms so that they could have a first strike attack from the other side. That was the only thing that was going to get Americans involved in another war after what they had been through with World War I. And so that is a kind of false flag attack. We're not saying that it was the American government that bombed Pearl Harbor. No, clearly it was the Japanese. They did it. Uh, they took the bait. They were given the opportunity. That's another kind of false flag. Opening up your defenses and letting the other side do it. That's what we're seeing today, as a matter of fact. This is why we should remember Pearl Harbor and what really happened there. Because right now, the entire West, Western Europe and America, are experiencing a pre-Pearl Harbor moment here. We have had our defenses opened up. Our borders are opened up. We've given every opportunity, every provocation to people to attack us. And uh, we have uh, set it up so they could do that. And whenever there's intelligence that something is about to happen, it seems like it always gets uh, shoved off. You can have somebody in the UK even bragging about how they're going to make attacks. They can go on BBC documentaries talking about how they're going to do that. Nothing is done about it until they actually start uh, bombing or stabbing or shooting or running people down with cars. And they say, oh, yeah, you know, uh, we knew about that. You know, we saw that on the, on the government documentary, but we didn't do anything about it. Well, that's what's happening right now because we don't remember history. We are having the same tactics. You know, it, it doesn't repeat itself, does it? But it always rhymes. It always rhymes. And it's rhyming really big time right now. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting-edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com. 